next up, we're going to look at modifying and rerouting. To modify an existing route, there are two approaches, either reroute or rearrange. To reroute an existing route, there is no need to unroute a connection to redefine its path. Simply click on the route button and start routing a new path. The loop removal feature will automatically remove any redundant track segments and vias as soon as you close the loop and right click to indicate that you are complete. Uh, we did enable loop removal earlier uh, in the tutorial. You can start and end the new route path at any point, swapping layers as required. You can also create temporary violations by switching to ignore obstacle mode, which you can then later resolve. Now loop removal is enabled in the PCB Editor interactive routing page of the preferences dialog that we looked at earlier, but there are situations where you may want to create loops. Uh, for example, power net routing. If necessary, loop removal can be disabled for an individual net. We do this by editing that net within the PCB panel. To access the option, go ahead and set the panel to nets. Locate one of the nets that you wish to change. Double click on it. And within the net dialog, simply uncheck the box for remove loops and loop removal will be disabled for that specific net. We can also rearrange existing routes. To do this, simply click and drag on the route and let go when you're happy with the placement. While you are in this mode, you can also press Shift R to toggle between push, hug and push, and ignore. To convert a 90 degree angle to a 45 degree route, just start dragging on the corner vertex. I'll go ahead and create a 90 degree route here real quick. And this will also show you the loop removal. So I've now created a loop. I'm going to right click and we can see that that old redundant segment is removed. Now to create a 45 in a 90, we're going to click and hold. A visual pick list will pop up because it wants to know which track segment you're actually looking to select because they are co-located. Uh, in this case, we can simply uh, select either of these. And as we complete that drag, we can see that that 45 degree corner is put in for us. While dragging, you can move the cursor and hotspot snap to an existing non-moving object, such as a pad. And we can use this to help align the new segment location with an existing object and avoid very small segments being added. To break a single segment, we want to first select the segment and then position the cursor over the vertex center. And we can add new segments in this way. And let's see, I also want to go ahead and modify this one. So we're going to go ahead and reroute this guy because I don't like it coming out the pad in that way. Shift space is what I'm pressing here to modify the corner modes. And again, once that is complete and I right click, the automatic loop removal will take out the old redundant section. So after watching this, just spend a little bit of time uh, within your PCB trying out the various rerouting and rearranging of your tracks. And when you're comfortable, go ahead and move on to the next video.